uh, in this video so I'm going to talk about Spring Boot 2.3.0 a new feature that is like uh, um, building the docker images using cloud native build banks okay so the first of all like what is cloud native build banks so basically the cloud native build banks project was initiated by pivotal and heroku okay and the build banks basically provide a higher level abstraction for building the applications uh, compared to the docker files so the advantage of build pack is to detect and gather everything your application need, needs to build and run okay so basically the build pack will transform your source code into a runnable application image so so before 2.3.0 so we used to create the docker file to create the docker image so so what this cloud native build packs will do is so instead of we are creating the docker file and to creating this docker image so it will um, create the docker image and it will provide for us so with single command so it will create the docker image okay that is the main advantage of this cloud native build packs so so let me create one simple example guys so cloud native okay so i'm going to take spring boot cloud native okay the dependencies we required is just web okay just generate the project okay once the project is generated so i'm going to import this project okay downloads okay so this is our project guys so what i'm going to do is let me open this project okay so i'm going to create one simple rest controller so welcome controller so which will have like one simple method so which will return so welcome into spring boot 2.3.0 okay so this is rust controller and this is just giving the request mapping okay that's it so okay so this is our palm data xml i have just only one dependency that is spring boot started web dependency okay so what we need to do is we have to run one simple command okay so basically you can just make sure that whether this um, you have docker installed in your system or not so i have docker installed in my system okay so that is 19.03.8 version okay so first of all i'm going to use the docker and after that i'm going to run in docker compose so to work with this we need to run a simple command so then okay spring so spring boot guys spring boot so build image that's it so basically this will build the image depends on your artifact id okay our artifact id is you can observe here our artifact id is spring boot cloud native right so this will take spring boot image name as spring boot cloud native and the version it will uh, the version name it will take it as a tag name so and it will build the image based on this artifact name and the version name so that's it so okay and like if you want to customize this name how can you do that 
so we have another approach also so that what we need to do is so we have a maven plugin here right so in this maven plugin we have to add our configuration so in that configuration we have to provide so whatever that name we want to customize so that name we have to provide here okay so that's it so based on that name so it will um, okay it will provide the it will uh, gives it will generate the image okay so it will take like a couple of minutes guys to create this docker image so in the meantime so i'm going to add the configuration here in this plugin so to customize this name configuration okay and i'm going to add the image name so image name okay basically docker dot io so our so if you want to push this to your docker hub you can push it so that is the reason i'm taking my github sorry docker hub username here and so i'm going to take the customized name as a spring um, spring docker okay so cloud so custom custom 1.0 so the tag name is 1.0 guys okay so few okay so you can just save this and you can run this now so it will create the spring docker cloud custom 1.0 okay so so this is completed guys spring boot spring boot cloud native 0.0.1 .0 snapshot images ready so let me check guys so docker images so it's built successfully okay let me copy this okay so to run this so we have a run command right docker run command so docker run so minus t so minus p so i want to run it on 8080 so 8080 okay the name of the container i'm going to con spring boot container okay and the image name so what is the image name spring boot okay cloud so native native mm -hmm. and version is 0.0.1 and snapshot snap that, that's it so hit enter so it is saying that spring boot cloud will not exist let me clear this guys docker images Spring Boot Cloud Native 0.0.1 Snapshot Spring Cloud Native Hit enter so It is saying Okay, let me copy this guys copy so paste here and hit enter so it's created okay so you can check with the docker ps command docker ps so it started guys so you can just check the endpoint local host welcome so welcome to spring boot 3.3.0 so it's working fine guys so this is one approach so another one so we can customize this right so so how can you customize this so like this so you can just mention the configuration in the image name here 
so based on this image name so it will create the image okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create again this image so check this once it is so marvin come and i'm going to run it again guys to create this customized image okay and in the meantime i'm going to create docker compose file docker compose dot yaml okay so this docker compose dot yaml so we have version okay so version so i'm going to use 3.7.1 version okay and i'm going to use services right services and so i'm going to take a spring boot service okay and i'm going to take as image so the image name is so i have to provide the github name here sorry this is docker hub username guys okay spring cloud native custom so 1.0 version and the container name so i'm now going to give the container name spring boot cloud container okay and finally how to provide the ports here so which will have at zero at one so at zero at zero is already running so that is the reason i'm going to take at zero at one okay so it is saying that spring docker cloud custom spring docker okay, sorry guys spring docker cloud custom 1.0 is created successfully i'm going to use that same image inside this docker compose and i'm going to use the port number as 8081 okay so let me save this so okay let me save this clear let's check docker images so our cloud custom image has been created with the tag name is 1.0 okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to check docker composes install in my machine or not so it is installed guys so docker so i'm going to use simple command okay so saying that service version must be mapping not a string it is saying that services 3.7 okay not a string mapping not a string let's save this spelling wrong guys that's it yeah so docker ps so docker stop so let me stop this previous container guys so because i want to test it the docker compose container whether it's working or not so now we have docker only one container that is com docker compose container so let me test this guys whether it's working or not so let's so to send that okay okay i zero eight one right so i zero eight one let's hit enter Okay, sorry guys. So zero zero two zero one. Okay. Now 
docker let me stop this and start this guys copy and paste here Starter, which is a to a Okay, yeah, it's working fine now. Okay, so this is how like you can use the cloud native build packs, guys. So this is this will be very helpful to create in Docker image. It will take, uh, it will save a lot of time. So so you can use this approach guys so if you are using like spring boot 2.3.0 version okay so thanks thanks for watching my video so if you like my video so please do like and subscribe my channel thanks have a good day